welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our brand new stamp set, O oh Gnome, and its coordinating dies. So let's go ahead and check it out. This set has three different styles of gnomes. So we have this cute little standing gnome, and a little standing girl gnome, and we have a sitting gnome as well. And then we have three different styles of mushrooms. So we have the larger mushroom, the taller mushroom, and a shorter mushroom. We also have some flowers, and these are great for setting the scene, or they're really, really cute for the gnomes to hold as well. And we have this cute little triple set of flowers too. We have a wheelbarrow and a little speech bubble, and there's some cute phrases to go in that speech bubble. We have a present and a lantern for the gnomes to hold, and two different sizes of hearts. We also have two different little smiley faces, and those are really cute in the mushrooms. Here are the phrases for that speech bubble. So we have you're sick, oh gnome, sorry I forgot, and oh gnome you didn't. And you can combine the oh gnome with the you're sick or the sorry I forgot. So it can say oh gnome, sorry I forgot. We also have happy birthday or happy belated birthday. We have you're a friend like gnome other, and also to a friend like gnome other. We have there's gnome, place like home, and then there's gnome one like you. We also have, I have so much room in my heart for you, which is so cute. And also, thanks so much. And of course, a little exclamation point to add to the ends of your phrases. I love how many fun sentiments there are in this set because it means that I can create gnome cards for all different occasions. So here I'm using my Copic markers to add some color to these images. I like to lay down my lightest marker first because it kind of wets the paper and makes it a little bit easier for me to do my shading. And so I'm going to color these first two gnomes in kind of the traditional gnome look with the red hat and kind of the blue outfit. But what I love about the gnomes is you could use any colors to kind of coordinate with whatever pattern papers or whatever color scheme you were thinking for your card. So for these first two I'm going to do the blues and in the second one I'm going to add in some greens. But I think it could be fun to do pinks and yellows and just go crazy with it. To help me decide where I'm going to put the darkest marker, I try to look for curves in the stamp. So for example, the curve of his beard, I'm going to make it darker underneath there because there'll be a little shadow. Or underneath his hat, I'll make his skin a little bit darker because there'd be a shadow from his hat. So you'll see I'll blend that out into light right below. So I love using that as kind of a little bit of a guide. I want to leave his beard and mustache white, but I don't want to just leave it plain and uncolored. So I'm going to take a warm gray marker and line the edges of his beard and his mustache, and it gives it just that perfect pop of color. I'll do the same thing on her little apron as well. I wanted her apron and the little Peter Pan collar she has to be white, and so I'm just going to take that warm gray marker and just line those edges. And that's just going to give it this like beautiful little shadow that really makes it pop. You can also use your colorless blender to blend the little edges of that warm gray marker if the edges are a little bit too harsh. Next I'm going to be transitioning over to those mushrooms and I'm going to use the same reds that I used for the hats and this is my favorite red combo. It's R29, R24, and R22. And you can see that I'm kind of blending out from the top and then down into the light. I'll touch the lightest marker to the medium marker to create a kind of in-between shade to help me blend between the two of them in case there's kind of a sharp difference between that medium and light color. And so I love having the lighter edge along the bottom of the mushroom. I just think it looks really, really pretty. And then I'll add some shading there either on the side or below of the mushrooms and I just love the look of it really simple just two colors but you can blend those stems really easily I love these bright greens these are new markers I got recently and they're so pretty that YG09 is one of my new favorites and so I'm going to color in all the stems for all the flowers in the same greens and then add a little warm gray just like we did for the beard and the apron to the whites of those daisies and you can see how it makes them pop we're going to use some grays there for the wheelbarrow, but I like the idea of coloring the wheelbarrow in a fun color like red or blue too for a nice pop of the scene. So here we have the coordinating dies, and you can bend these apart at the tabs or you can use your wire snips to separate them. I'm going to take the coordinating die and line it up with my stamped image and then hold it in place with some low tack tape. I'm going to use some post-it note tape here. Then we can take all of these dies and run them through our die cut machine and that's going to leave you with some perfectly cut images. I just love popping them out of the dies. It's just so cute to see them all cut out and just right there waiting to be put on a card. 
So here you can see all of the images from the set and how you can mix and match them. So you could put those little daisies in the wheelbarrow, that little guy can sit on top of the mushrooms, and the gnomes can hold the present or the lantern or the different flowers. And then we also have those fun little speech bubbles too, and you can turn them to have either one of the little gnomes speaking. And so now I'm going to stamp some of the phrases that fit inside the speech bubble. So we have the, oh gnome you didn't, and sorry I forgot, and we're going to be using them on the card we're going to make next. We're going to cut some peacock cardstock with the largest of the small dotted rectangles, and we're also going to cut some cilantro cardstock with that same rectangle. This grass border here is part of the new mushroom border dies, and I love this because it's kind of a shorter grass. It's really, really cute. And so I'm going to line that up on that cardstock and run it through my die cut machine, and now I'll have some grass, but with that beautiful little dotted border along the bottom, and then we can layer those two pieces together. But before we layer these, I want to do some stamping. So I'm going to line up the happy belated birthday to a friend like gnome other. And unfortunately, I have to make belated birthday cards because I feel like I'm always late in sending birthday cards. So this is a really, really cute way to send a late birthday card. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that out in some black licorice ink right onto that grassy border. And then we can layer that right onto our peacock sky. Then it's time to layer some of the mushrooms. And I love that red on the peacock cardstock. It's so pretty. So we're gonna layer the mushrooms behind and in front of the grass kind of to create some cool dimension. And then we can start to layer the rest of our scene. So I'm gonna add some foam squares to the back of the gnomes to kind of pop them off of the cardstock. And then we can layer those guys right in the center. Then we can give her her little flower that she's giving as a little birthday present there and then add those speech bubbles on, which is just so cute. This card makes me just laugh so much. So I thought it'd be fun to add some clouds to the sky and I love the clouds from the Butterfly Kisses stamp set. So I'm gonna stamp those out and I'll just line them in a really nice light blue marker just to give them a little bit of pop. Just like we did with the warm gray, I'm gonna do the same idea with the light blue on the clouds. And then we can run those through our die cut machine with the coordinating dies and start to layer those clouds on. I'm also going to take the sun from the spring showers die and I'm going to die cut some of this yellow pattern paper from the spring fling 6x6 pad with that sun. And so it's so cute because it has a little subtle texture on it and then that beautiful stitching that the die creates. So I'm going to take those clouds and layer those there and then we can layer the sun in the background too. And I'm going to have it kind of going off of the edge of the card. I think it's a really, really cute look. For our card base, we're going to use some of the new Really Rainbow Scallops paper. This is the 12 by 12 paper, and I'm going to trim that down to 5 and a half by 4 and a quarter, and also create a card base out of white cardstock that's going to be the same size. And then we can layer all of our pieces together. So I'm going to add that pattern paper on with some tape runner, and I love this rainbow pattern. It's just so happy and sweet. And then we can add some foam squares to the back of our whole scene and layer that on top. And this card was really quick and easy to make, but it's just so so cute and adorable. I can't wait to send it to someone. It's just so fun and happy and I really think it's going to make someone's day. So next up, we're going to be creating a friendship card. So we're going to be working with some of the new Spiffy Speckles paper and some of the new Really Rainbow Scallops paper. And we're going to be die cutting that with this stitched scalloped frame. And so we're going to be using the interior part of the frame and the exterior part of the frame, kind of mixing and matching all of these colors. So you can see how that green is going to pop right inside of that frame. Then next we're going to take the grass from the mushroom border die and layer that onto that green interior piece. And then we can layer the green onto the blue and then pop that into the frame again. So just going to use some liquid glue onto that grass and just layer that right in there. Now before we start to layer all the pieces, we're going to go ahead and do some stamping. And we're going to be using one of my favorite sentiments from the set, and that's the you're a friend like no other. So we're going to stamp that in some black licorice ink right onto that grass. Then we're going to be taking some really rainbow scallops paper and we're going to die cut that with an outside in stitched rectangle. And so that's when we're going to use this little yellow scallop which is really pretty and like a nice subtle background. And then we're going to layer that onto a white card base. So we're going to have a nice white border on there for our cool little scallop scene to go onto. Then we can start to layer all of the die cut pieces we created earlier. So we're gonna layer that frame on there and then pop the interior part with our cute little scene. And then we can start to take some of the fun characters from Oh Gnome and layer them onto the card. And so we're gonna be mixing and matching some flat adhesive with some foam adhesive to create some cute dimension. And I love the look of those little flowers from the set tucked in behind the grass. It's just so cute. And I love the two little girl gnomes together. They're just adorable holding hands. Now here we're going to stamp the heart 
apart from the set into the speech bubble. So that's another way to use the speech bubble. And then we can layer that speech bubble right on top. And I think it's really cute going there between the two little gnomes. And now that we have the placement of everything, we can go ahead and pick up all of the pieces and add either glue or foam squares behind them. And so I love seeing this in fast motion. I kind of wish I could craft that fast in real life. <laughs> so now to add a little extra sparkle, we're gonna take a quickly glue pen and we're gonna layer it on top of that heart that we stamped earlier. And we're gonna dip it into the glitter to create a cute little pink glittered heart. And I think this is really gonna add some nice little extra sparkle and shine for this card. And then we can take that speech bubble and add it on with our foam squares right to the top of the card. And now this card is done and it's just so cute and adorable. I love the springy colors and how just sweet and fun this is. This would definitely make someone smile as kind of like a random act of cardness just to surprise someone with a card. Now when we were designing O oh Gnome, we definitely had Gleeful Gardens in mind. And Gleeful Gardens is one of my personal favorite sets ever, and I love mixing and matching them. So we're gonna be doing that now and creating a really cool night garden scene. So here we have a stitched hillside backdrop and portrait, and we're gonna die cut some cilantro cardstock with that. Then here we're just gonna trim down some little typing paper, just some computer printer paper, and we're gonna layer that behind one of the hills so that we can add some dimension with some Distress Oxide ink. So this is the Lucky Clover ink, and it looks amazing layered over the cilantro cardstock. So we're just gonna kinda of sponge that on, just going slowly in circles, adding a little bit of darkness to that hill to kinda of just make it stand out from the rest of the card. Then once we've finished with that hill, then we can go ahead and switch to the other hill. So we're going to move that paper to kind of protect the rest of the cardstock. And there you can see, look at all that dimension. It's like quick and easy blending because you're just using one color on some colored cardstock. Now here to create this really cool night sky, Shari came up with the best combo. And it's Tattered Rose, Abandoned Coral, and Sleeveless Preserves. And we're gonna layer these onto the card in a gradient effect, switching back and forth between the colors to help kind of the transition between them so that it always looks like this nice gradient and there's no sharp edges. And so you can see how cool that is looking behind the little scene there. Now here we've got some white watercolor paint. So we're gonna add some water to that white watercolor paint, kind of creating a soupy texture. And then we can pick it up with the paintbrush and tap the paintbrush. And this is gonna create some beautiful splatters that are kind of kind of mimic some stars showing up in this sunset sky. So it really adds this great texture and it just looks so gorgeous on the card. These little things just add that little extra finishing touch that makes something super special. Next up, we're gonna take a stitched rectangle frame and we're gonna die cut some storm cloud cardstock. And so this frame is gonna layer right on top of our scene, which is such a cool look and I think really helps kind of solidify the night nice scene of it by adding in this nice dark color. And so now we can start to layer these pieces together. So we'll layer the rectangle on top of our cool grass scene and then we can layer our whole scene on top of the sky. Then from there, we'll create a standard size card base at five and a half by four and a quarter, and then we can layer that on top. Then next up, it's time to start working on our sentiment. So here we have some black licorice cardstock, and we're gonna take a powder tool to add some anti-static effect to this cardstock so that we can heat emboss on it. So we're gonna stamp the thanks so much sentiment there with some clear embossing ink, and then we can add some white heat embossing powder. And because we added that powder at the beginning, the heat embossing powder is only gonna stick to that clear ink and nowhere else on the cardstock. Then we can use the heat embossing tool to heat that up and we're gonna have a nice, shiny, bright white sentiment onto that cool little sentiment banner there. Now here, I love the idea of coloring these mushrooms in unique colors, especially for this kind of whimsical night scene. So we've got blues and reds and pinks and oranges and mixing these colors is so cute and fun. And those little snails from Gleeful Garden look really cute with unique colored shells as well. So it's really fun to stamp and color a bunch of elements and kind of pick them up and mix and match them and start to create your scene. We're gonna tuck them behind the hills and in front of the hills to create some cool dimension. We're gonna add this cute little lantern there for the gnome, which I think looks really, really great for this nighttime scene. And then we can keep layering all of these cute little mushrooms and flowers. And I'm just falling in love with this scene so much. I love that there's elements of it that are kind of going out onto the frame as well. I think it really helps make the scene look like it keeps on going and going beyond the card. 
And for our last step, we're going to take that sentiment banner, add some foam squares to it, layer it on the card, and then we can go ahead and trim off any of the excess that was left over of that banner. And this card is all done and it's so cute. I can't wait to try this color combo of inks myself. Oh my goodness, it's absolutely beautiful and I love the idea of a nighttime known scene. So here we have some awesome cards by the design team and this card by Elise is so sweet. I love how she used the garden border to tuck her mushrooms and flowers in. This card here is adorable. The gnomes are perfect for the new mushroom house. This card by Elena is so sweet. I love all of the layers of mushrooms and how the gnomes are holding hands. Here's the card by Elise that inspired us to make our card today. So thank you so much, Elise. This scene here by Megan is so sweet. I love how she used the tree from the leafy tree backdrop. It's a great mix for these cute gnomes. And then this card by Kay is so cool. I love that amazing sky that she created. I love here how Nicole used really soft colors and how her mushrooms are kind of the gray mushrooms. It's absolutely gorgeous. And these little gnomes are perfect for our new shadow box add-ons. This card is so cute and fun. Shari got super creative and she created this amazing, cool, three-dimensional scene in an ornament with the gnomes. It's so sweet and would be a great gift. And then this card by Lizzie is gorgeous. I love the flowers as the background sky. Letitia created a really amazing card here. I love her use of pinks and blues on the mushrooms. It's so fun and whimsical. And then this card by Melissa is so cool. I love how she used the glitter cardstock to create the mushroom tops. It's so unique and fun. This card by Audrey is adorable because she turned the gnomes into smurfs. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love it. It's so creative and fun. And this card by Lena is so sweet. I love her scalloped border framing her scene and how the gnome is holding the present. And then here, Megan created a cool Light Up Chibitronics card with this set. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous is this? So I cannot wait to see what you guys do with Oh Gnome, so make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!